right, our autonomous portion is off to the races. Red Alliance grabbing two of the neutral mobile goals. That last one is stuck in a tug of war between 8838B and 3224B. That's gonna go to the Red Alliance, moving on to driver controlled in three, two, one, go! One minute, 45 seconds left on the clock. We are still in a tug of war. Locked between the red and the blue alliance for control of that mobile neutral goal on the high side of the field. Over on the other side of the field, we have a similar situation with Royal Robotics from the blue alliance playing a little bit of defense against 4610J, the red robot that has control of one neutral mobile goal and one red mobile goal. At one minute, 16 seconds left in this match. Red Alliance and Blue Alliance still doing a tango over that last mobile goal. They might feel that that would be the deciding factor for this match, but really it's anybody's game at this point. One minute left on the clock. Royal Robotics over on the blue side of the field. Looks like they are trying to grab one of the mobile goals to place it on their platform. They might be changing strategy. For the Red Alliance, we have 33-24B. Looks like they are getting pulled over by 8838B from the Blue Alliance. 41 seconds left in this match. Royal Robotics hand loading ring after ring, scoring that on those branches of their blue mobile hold that they have in their possession. 30 seconds left in this match. 4610J from the Red Alliance pushes down that red platform. They climb up with ease. Don't they make it look easy? Ladies and gentlemen, they have it balanced. They have two mobile platforms elevated, one robot elevated, their alliance partner that battles it out that whole time to keep control of that mobile neutral goal. That's 3324B trying to climb it up there over on the blue alliance. Eight seconds left on the clock. Royal Robotics is up with one neutral goal. And two mobile goals, two 